Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of UE4 Tutorials. This episode is a bit special because it was voted for by my Patreons and on my YouTube members. So thank you everyone for supporting me and voting for this video. In this video we're talking about retargeting, uh, what it is and how it works. And the most popularly used for retargeting is using a website called Mixamo. If you don't know what Mixamo is, it is Adobe's uh, animation piece of software online where you can upload your own models or use their own ones to uh, get animations for free. Now, these animations you can download for free and import them into Unreal. However, there some work needs to be done in order to be useful. So what we're going to do today is go through the process of retargeting those uh, models onto animations provided by Epic. So here I have already imported in my Maria model here. So if I open this up and this is from Mixamo and all I've done is just imported in, not done nothing else to it. Okay. And we want this one to be replaced with the mannequin. Okay. So using the same animations this mannequin is using, but with Maria instead. So let's go through how retargeting works and accomplishing this. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at our skeleton. So this is the Maria skeleton. Now the way retargeting works is it takes a look at the bones of one skeleton, looks at the bones of another skeleton and maps the bones together. Now this is important that it is additive not uh, a simple replacement. So we have to do various things towards our skeleton first of all in order for it to work with retargeting and not look weird. So the first thing you need to do is open up your skeleton for one of your uh, meshes. Here I'm starting off, actually let's start off with the mannequin. Uh, so let's go in here. So I'm starting off with the mannequin's uh, animation skeleton. And you can see it's all here. Okay. And what you need to do is go to your retarget manager. Now this could be a tab here. It could also be this button up here. And if that button's not there, you can also go to window and select it from the list. All in all, once you get to it, you need this retarget window to accomplish what you want to do. So on here, we're going to change the setup rig for our skeleton here. So at the moment, it's got no rig, and the rig is sort of an in-between. It's how we communicate between one skeleton and another, because skeletons are named all differently, they're structured differently, and these are important factors. So we're going to go select rig, and here you'll see at the top, select humanoid rig. Now this is good because it sets us up with a template that we can easily follow. Once you've done that, hit the auto map button and Unreal will automatically map the bones of this skeleton to the sources of our rig. Now because we're dealing with an epic rig and an epic skeleton, these are going to match no problem. Okay, they should all be the same. Once you've done that, hit uh, close that and then save the skeleton there. And that's the easy part done. Next, we're going to go into our Mixamo character. Go into their skeleton. On this one, we're going to go to the retarget manager. But this one's a very different one because if we look at our bones here, they're named very, very differently from our mannequin of the uh, skeleton. Mannequin, mannequin, mannequin skeleton. There we go. Get the words out. Right. So here we have, uh, say, root, pelvis, spine one, spine two, spine three. Here we've got hips, spine one, and two. Okay. So we need to do some work here to retarget this to the same rig. So again, we're going to go to select rig and choose select humanoid rig. And although your sources are the same, their targets won't be. Now, what you're going to do here is simply change it to auto map. And then we have to go around and manually change every single one of these to match. Now, if you're working with Mixamo, one common thing that we see in Mixamo skeletons is the changing between the hips and the root. So typically on a UE4 uh, animation, you want the root to be in between the feet. However, Mixamo puts the root at the hips, which is not ideal, but we can work around that. So what I'm going to do in the target manager is change the root here to hips. And then on pelvis, also change it to hips. I'm then going to go around to all my spine 1, 2, and 3 and go around to all of these and make them all the same. So bear with me and uh, I'll edit this bit out so you can don't have to sit here watching me do this. Okay, so I've done the first page. You then want to click on Show Advanced 
and you'll see all the ones for the various fingers. So in here, we're gonna go around and do the exact same. So I'm gonna cut this bit out so you don't get to see this boring part. We just go around, do the same thing, and link up the index uh, first joint for the left hand, and we'll carry on as such. See you in a moment. Okay, now that's all done. We've got here all the fingers lined up. Uh, the twists are set to none. And if I scroll down, you'll see everything else is set to none for the twists and IKs. Anything I've done here is for the left ball of the foot, do left toe base, and the right ball of the foot, I've done right toe base. But you go through, and if it's not there, you choose none. Especially for IKs and things like that, you don't need to worry about. Okay, when you've done that, we'll close the target manager and hit save on the mesh. Now, as I said, this is all additive, and it has to match as best as possible the pose between each mannequin. So here we've got Maria here in a classic T pose. However, the UE4 mannequin itself is in an A pose. So what we need to do is change the poses here to match as close as possible. So what we can do is go to my UE4 mannequin, go to the retarget manager, and we just put tab this just here. So we'll be looking at the Manage Retarget Base Pose section down the bottom here. And what we need to do is select and change the skeleton's pose here to match as close as possible to our Maria here. So let's go to this and on the upper arms, I'm just gonna raise these up to a T pose, like so. And do upper arm left, raising it up like so. Uh, let's check out everything else out. So the hands, they look okay. Everything else looks okay there. Okay, so we can see how this works. So once you go it posed correctly, you go to your retarget manager and go to the bottom, manage retarget base pose. Then you go to modify pose and use current pose. When you've done that, this is now the current default pose. So hit save and now we can close that. Okay, so the next step is to duplicate the assets by retargeting. So let's go to our mannequin's animations which are here. And we're going to just do the idle, first of all. I'm gonna right click on this and do retarget anim assets. And you'll see the option for duplicate anim assets and retarget. Click on this and you should get a new window come up. In the select skeleton window, select the Maria skeleton. And on the options here for new asset name and all sorts here, you can rename it and re change where it's gonna be, uh, sorry, gonna be placed. So in the folder here, I'm gonna click change and put it in my mix more asset and click okay. And we're going to leave it as is, and leave it as the old name. So click retarget. And now we've got the third person idle animation set to a mix mode character here. So when looking at this, we can see the issue that it is sunk in the floor. Now the reason why it's sunk in the floor is because mix mode assets do not come with a root in the correct place. Unreal expects the root to be between the feet. So it's treating the hips here as between the feet. So to fix that, we go to the skeleton and we look at the retarget manager again and we want to make the root equal to none, not hips. So once you've done that, we hit save and close that. Close that. I'm just going to delete this because um, we're going to redo it. Go to the mannequin, animations, and we'll do the idle again. So retarget anim assets. Duplicate, choose your Maria skeleton, and there it appears. Choose a location where you want it to go, and then click retarget. And now we've got a much better retargeted animation. Excellent. Okay, so that's just one animation. What about the whole lot? Well, if you go to the content for the mannequin, you'll see that you'll find the third person anim BP. This is the animation blueprint. We can also retarget and duplicate this. So right click, Retarget Anime Blueprints, Duplicate and Retarget. Choose your Maria, change the location where you want it to go, and hit Retarget. And now we've got the Anime BP, the Idle Run Blend Pose, the Jump. I've got a second Idle, we don't need that, we can get rid of that now. So we've done the Idle. And we've got all the others here going on as well. So let's now attach that to our player character here. So I'm going to go to edit third person character. And then we go to the mesh and we're going to choose our Maria SK. 
and in we're going to use our an MVP. I renamed mine in the cut there, so, so I know which one it was. Hit compile, and now play test that game. So at the moment we've got a T pose, but if we walk around, you can see the animations now move just fine. Um, the thing we want to fix though is the T posing. So why is that happening? Well, let's take a look at what's handling the T pose, and that is this third person idle and one. So if we go in here and take a look at what's going wrong. So here we've got the idle blend pose here has got the issue where some of the animations have not ported over. So here you can see the idle run. Now it's deleted because I deleted the duplicate. So I'm just going to replace that with the original. And now we've got the fix there. Play. And now we've got the full character from Mixmo running and jumping with the epic Unreal Skeleton. And that's it. So, for example, if you make your own animation or your own skeleton, okay, but you want to use the animations from Epic, you can just use the same process we just used right now. If you are doing the other way around, so say you want to have the mannequin use someone else's skeleton, it's exactly the same process except you're retargeting the animations of the, um, retargeting the mesh of the mannequin to match the other target skeleton. But the process is generally the same. The main thing you need to take to, need to take into account is that you fill out those uh, the rig association correctly, and secondly, make sure the pose is correct. If you're finding some weird issues and bugs with the way it looks, check out your pose, check out your links to the rig, and make sure they're all accurate. And that's usually where you find the issues. If you have any other questions or you want to see more about retargeting, leave a comment below. I'd be fascinated to see what you guys come up with and what you'd like to see next. Again, thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their support in especially voting for this video. Thank you again once or once and all. If you want to see more content before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where a donation of just one dollar will get access to more videos uh, before anyone else. Thank you again everyone for supporting me and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as I said, if you have any questions or comments or want any uh, future content uh, suggestions, leave a comment below and be always interested to see what you guys want to see next. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.